Hi, my name is Lisa. And my name is Mackenzie. And today, we're going to be walking you through how to paint these butterflies using watercolors. For a list of what you need to get started, check out the video description below. If you enjoy painting along with us, be sure to hit the like button. And also, click subscribe if you want to see other videos just like this one. Now let's get started. Alright, so we'll start out by tracing out the butterfly. So we're going to want to take about this much of the page. So in order to get started, we'll have to do the middle of the body so that we know where to start from. So you're just going to want to kind of make a cylinder shape right in the middle, just like this, with a little head on top. Not too big because then your wings will have to be quite, quite big. Okay, so then we're going to go up like this on one side and repeat the same shape on the other side. Okay, and try and make them as symmetrical as you can. And then we're gonna go out from about, you're gonna go about one third of the way down, so see one third, and we're gonna go, actually maybe closer to half, and we're gonna go straight out, and straight out. Not all the way to here, but about two thirds of the way, so. Yep, and then the other way. And then we're gonna connect it to this one, so it's gonna come down like this. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna come in about this far. See where I'm starting? And we're gonna come out like this, out like this. We're gonna want these angles to be a little bit more curved. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we're gonna come from here, we're gonna come almost straight down, almost straight down. And then we're gonna have sort of a bubbly shape. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just little valleys and hills connecting. All right, so now we're gonna fill in the wings to start. So you wanna pick two, maximum three colors that you want the inside of your butterfly to be. So in my case, I'm gonna make it purple and pink. So what two colors do you think you'll do on yours? Hmm, I think blue and green. Okay, I think that'll look really nice. So just like usual, we want to start by wetting our palette first. So you have a bit of water in yours already. So you want to take a brush that gives you a certain amount of control. So one like, that one would be good for getting all the water down. And then to add the paint, you could use a smaller one like this. And I'm gonna use this little angled brush here, but you can also use a brush that looks like this, or any brush you have around the house. So first things first, we're gonna add water in one section of the butterfly. So start on the top left side and add clear water and fill it in. Top left hand side. And that's because if you're right-handed, you don't wanna smush the rest of your painting. So you start here so that you can work your way over. And if you're right-handed, or sorry, left-handed, then I would start over here. All right, and then, so you wanna make sure you don't have too much water and that you're staying in the lines as much as you can. So that's quite a bit of water. See, when you look at it at the side, you can see like big bubbles. So you wanna actually get rid of a tiny bit of that. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my darkest color. So in my case, it's purple. And I'm gonna start right at the base of the butterfly. So right here, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna start pushing it little bit help it out a little bit if there's enough water there it should go out on its own too and then I'm gonna take my pink and in your case it'll be blue and I'm gonna add it in another spot so I'm gonna put pink out here and that way they start to blend together as it dries I'm take a little more purple as it dries, it's gonna lighten quite a bit. 
You remember that about watercolor, right? That it always lightens as it dries? Mm -hmm. You want to get it quite dark, but not too much water. So you don't want to keep adding water. You've got too much water now. Okay. Because every time, so every time you go grab water and then you add it, you're adding more water. So what you want to do is have a paper towel here and you clean off your brush, then you dry off your brush, then you grab some color and lay it on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll let you keep going on. I think we'll move this out of the way. So that's why it's nice to have a paper towel around. So now we're gonna move to the next section. And it doesn't matter if your sections bleed together. So if I start to add clear water here and it, and it touches that side there and it bleeds in, that's totally okay. You just want to make sure you don't have too much water. So that's quite a bit of water again, so you'll want to dry off your brush now. Lots of drying off, and then use your brush to get rid of a bit of the water, just so that you don't have too much. So same thing as before, we're going to add the purple down first, or whatever color you choose. Now remember, you've got to dry off your brush in between. We always want to be keeping a nice dry brush if our palette is very wet. Because otherwise your paintings are going to take all day to dry. And we'd like to finish our paintings today, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's good. Now grab a little paint. Oh, you maybe dried it off a little too much. That's okay. We're all learning, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we want to do the next side. So you do that. Oh, dripped off the page. That's okay. Just dab it right up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll do the next side, okay? So same thing as before, we'll just keep moving along. Being mindful not to use too much water. And that's something that's really common when you're starting out with watercolors is to use too much water. And so it's just something you have to learn not to do. We'll add our purple down again. I'm adding a little purple over here just because it's fun to add it as it dries. And I'll go in and add some of my pink. Yeah, that looks great. Now you can do your next section. section move section to section and Kenzie because that's quite green you might want to add a little blue now that's great Kenzie you're fast today so what we're gonna do I'm gonna fin quickly finish off this last one splatters on it right now because that would be fun right mm -hmm. so we're gonna take our brush and get it nice and wet and you want quite a bit of water on it for splatters so I'm gonna take some purple splatters to start and you want to take your brush a flat brush like this one and then you want to take your other finger and just kind of splatter on it a little and you want the splatters to go on the wings and behind take some pink ones and splatter on the wings and then behind the wings and if it's wet while you do this, the splatters are gonna go crazy. That's good. Up top, yeah, just a little down there, and then that should be good. And we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do a few more over here. 
and then we're gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna blow dry it to speed it up. If you have something else you can do while you wait, you can go and do that. Um, and we'll come back as soon as it's dry. All right, so our butterflies have had some time to dry. What do you think of them so far? Mm, it's pretty good. All right, so this is the fun part. We're gonna add some black. So we're gonna define the edges and we're gonna add the body. So your black, you want your black to be quite dark. So I would make sure you add a little bit of water in there to start. So if you take your water and add some to your black paint. I have a spray bottle to add water to mine. So once you have it, you can smush it around for a little bit. And you're gonna wanna use a smaller brush for this part though. So you can, now that you've smushed it around, you can put your big brush away. we can start working on it. So I'm using a small brush. You might want to use this small brush right here. So I'm going to take the black and first we're going to start by filling out the body. So I'm going to put black paint in. I want it to be nice and dark. I start with outlining it first and then I fill it in. Black as you can. That's great, Kenzie. That's okay, so then what we want to do for the wings, we're doing gonna do a technique where we press harder and softer on the brush so that we get varying degrees of thickness. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay, so I want you to watch me first. And I take my brush and I'm gonna press really hard at the corner and see how the line is nice and thick. I press hard on the brush, then I take my black paint and I press lighter and then I get a thin line and then I'm going to go a little heavier and lighter and I make my way around going sometimes darker, sometimes heavier on the brush and sometimes not at all. And so that's what we're doing. We're making our way around. So let's see, practice on the one side. So press harder and you want to follow the line of the butterfly. Yeah, harder and then lighter, 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 super light and then come off the page completely. Yeah. And then sometimes, like I said, you want it to kind of dance off the page. So sometimes you're pressing really hard, sometimes not at all. And you want your hand to be almost a little shaky. Yeah. And then you want to do a line that comes in here towards the body as well. I'm going to make my way around the butterfly. And so the corners of this butterfly are going to be thicker black. So every time you see a corner, see how I got really big in the corners? So we're gonna come in and press a little hard here and then press really hard in the corner. And this is a section that you can watch me do it and then come back and watch it again while you're doing it. So that way you can see it twice because this is tricky to learn. So press harder in some areas, really hard. Yeah, exactly. See how thick it got when you pressed hard? Now I'm doing my corners quite hard because on a monarch butterfly, the corners are where it's really thick black. So the corners I'm referring to are these places where it curves, I make it darker. And then you want to go out from here, Kenzie, out from the body, in the middle. I'm just going to darken that. And now is the part where if you have a really thin brush, that's good. Do you have a really thin brush, Mackenzie? Let's see. Most of the beginner sets you buy at the store come with at least one thin brush. So this would be how fine you'd want that brush to be. So you want to get that brush wet. And then we're going to do the little antenna on the butterfly. So we're going to have a line coming up. And like the lightest line you can possibly do. Okay. And then you want to connect them right to the head. And then we're going to do a few little lines that come back. So just letting your brush be ever so gently, we're going to like hold it right at the end. And I want you to gently let your brush go on the page like this. Just like that. I'm barely holding onto my brush. Yeah. 
and do some lines that go out from the beginning. So you go start here where the base of the butterfly is and make your way out. And some of them connect to each other and some of them don't. And wherever I notice that it's drawing quite light, I'm gonna go back and add a bit more black just for fun. Great, Kenzie. Now one thing I can see on yours is, remember how I talked about making the corners really thick? Do you think you could add a bit more, using your bigger brush, like this one, do you think you could thicken up some of the corners like I did here? Yeah, and just do those in some of the corners. And then connecting them in. Yeah, that looks great. All right, so we're gonna let this dry now and then we have one more step. Okay, so for the last step, we're gonna use some paint just like this one. I just got it from the dollar store. It's just acrylic white paint. And we're gonna get a tiny little brush. I wonder where I could put this. I'm gonna get a tiny little brush. I'll put some in this tray right here. And we're gonna do some little dots on the butterfly. We don't need very much paint. You take your tiniest brush you have and you dip it in the white paint and you just add a few little dots in the corners. Wherever you have a bigger corner you can add some. And then I'm going to add a little bit just on the body, a little bit of white paint just like that. You did eyes. <laughs> that looks great. All right, so that's it. So now we just have to sign our paintings. So I'm gonna sign mine on the bottom right with some pink. I always like to sign my paintings with a color that I have in the painting. So in my case, pink is a color I have here. Do an LW for Lisa Whitehouse. So that's it for my painting. Kenzie's just finishing up here. If you enjoyed painting along with me, be sure to hit the like button below and hit subscribe if you wanna be notified as soon as other paintings just like this one become available. Thank you for watching.